Hello, and welcome to Buzz Banter. My name is Kevin, I'm the guy that's actually the cameraman, but I'm back for a game of Gloom. Uh, so, the story of Gloom involves four different families, and the players, their goal is to tell a story of the misfortune of each of these families. The game ends when all of one player's family members has died. You tally up the score, see who has the lowest, and the person with the least, or the most negative points, is the winner. So, come along for this adventure, share in the miserable stories, as we play Gloom. Hello, and welcome to Buzz Banter. I'm Das Hat. I'm Sam. <laughs> I'm Kevin. I don't look this way. I'm Raynaud, and this is Maya. And we're playing Gloom. While we're eating cookies. Yes, of course. Of well, course. You guys are eating cookies. I'm so fasting. to start, everyone draws Thank five you. cards. I have five cards before. Oh, right, right. This is my family. Two, three, <laughs> four, five. cards I have family? I don't need family, I have cards. By the way, for you, for those of you not sure what's going on, Maya and Merlin are playing as a team. Mm -hmm. We're a team! So the family I'm playing is the Wellington Smythes. You have Lord... Wellington Smythe, the dumbfounded duke. You have Goody Zara, the nefarious nanny. You have the adorable twins, Butterfield, the lurking butler, and Wildchild, Lola Wellington Smythe. Alright, uh, so, Sam? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just start playing cards? Like, no, you, no, 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 introduce, introduce, your, oh, introduce family. my family. Okay. I have Angel, the starry eyed serial killer, oh. Balthazar, the unfaithful hound. Oh. Cousin Mordecai, the red-headed stepchild. What? William Stark, the disturbing handyman. And the old Dan, murderous matriarch. Excellent. Um, I've got uh, Castle Slogar. Uh, so I have Lord Slogar, who's a brain in a box. Uh, Professor Helena Slogar, his wife, the eccentric inventor. Oh, that explains the brain in the box. Uh, Melissa Slogar, the cadaverous child. Uh, Grogar, the work in progress, he's a teddy bear with a brain in it. Uh, and, uh, Elias E. Gore, uh, itinerant grave digger. Um, okay, so yeah, we're the circus. We're the den of, um, what's it called? Den of deformities. Yeah. Um, so we have a bearded man who, yeah, read the well, description to that one. It's Samson O'Toole, the bearded man. While bearded ladies are always popular, few people seem interested in Samson's remarkable deformity. Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we have an illustrated lady, Alessandra Ele Deville, like Carla Deville. Sadly, Al Alessandra's modesty prevents her from sharing her remarkable tattoos with the world. She's she's like completely covered up. She's even wearing like one of those like pirate yes, hats and a veil. And this is Mr. Giggles, who's a clown skeleton. Um, Darius Dark, the carnival is in Dark's blood, and there's quite a lot of blood in his carnival. He's the ringmaster, so the head of the family. Yeah, and then um, Thumb Thumbelissa. Thumbelissa. She, yeah, she's uh, just a diva, but she's fat. <laughs> if you look at her pictures, she's And she's, and she's fat. a midget, but like, <laughs> but uh... It's questionable why Darius Stark would have been wiser to prom like he didn't he was would have been wiser to promote her like minute size instead of her mediocre operatic talents. <laughs> okay, so let's get this thing started. Uh, I am going to play my first event card, a Stormy Knight, which allows me to draw four cards, play one card, and then discard until I have reached my draw limit, which is five. So um, I am going to. You mean your hand limit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, the first story I, the first story I'm going to tell is of Goody Czar, the nanny. Now, Goody, she looks after the twins, you know, raises them being the nanny of the house. Um, often she's terrified by them because, well, as adorable as they are, they are somewhat twisted. Children are like that. I believe they're uh, demonically possessed, are they not? Yeah, a little bit. Um, so, the first thing that happens to Goody when she wakes up in the morning is she has to, you know, go after the twins. But this one particular morning, this stormy morning, um, she is chased by the children. 
they turn the tables on her. So, we have your family over there. Oh, why do you go after the green family? There's a dog. There's a dog. Balthazar, that poor little dog. He's an unfaithful hound. Yes. And the thing is, he's unfaithful to a family of serial killers. Well, right? Two of them are kind of, three of them are kind of killers. I don't know yeah. what so, guys done. Yeah, so, you know. Three of four, but dog being five. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know, we, he doesn't say he's killed anybody. He's no, he hasn't bone killed bone anybody. Bone. He's actually unfaithful to the family because they're killers. And the church, you know, the church that is in the township that they live in has a bishop that also has a thing for animals. So, um, it's interesting that he should stumble upon this family and Balthazar in particular because Balthazar has been loyal to the good townsfolk and so he was blessed by the bishop for looking after the family. And since I end my turn, I draw until I have five cards. Would you? Yes. Okay, so I guess I, 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 guess I go. Yes. And, uh, okay. <laughs> it's hard to really follow up on that, but I guess I'll try. So I have uh, the Blackwater clan right here. Fill it, uh, family of murderers and psychopaths who want to essentially, well, murder and psychopath. Well, the, 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 the old dam is, she tries to blackmail and poison to reach society. Uh, oh, man, this is like so difficult. I, you know, well, I'm going to start with the Misfortune Favors the Old, no. which allows me to play two additional cards mm -hmm. this round. Uh, they must be untimely deaths, or modifiers have with negative pathos points. Okay, so you can play up to four negative pathos modifiers. Nice. So I have... This is what I actually have in my hand. <laughs> uh, so she has to... I guess I'll start with... I guess I'll start with actually Cousin Mordecai. Cousin Mordecai has been fairly depressed recently because he was recently uh, swindled by a salesman. <laughs> uh, as you know, he's holding a little fish. He was told this fish was magical. <laughs> but it's magic not. Card. Like magic cards? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like magic cards. Magic card. But he was not. <laughs> so he was swindled by a salesman and he's been fairly depressed ever since. Oh my god. So swindled by a salesman, and my ability is skip your next draw phase after this card is played. Uh, so what's my next one here that I'll go? Um, poor little angel. Uh, all she wants to do is murder people. Uh, a noble goal. A noble goal. Uh, she went to a dance recently uh, where she had planned to murder somebody, but unfortunately she was disgraced at this dance when her would-be victim had left her with somebody else. Uh, what are my next one? It's terrible. Um, William Stark has been the insidious handyman of the Blackwater clan, and because of this he has been murdering and doing all the underhanded deeds that the old dam tells him, the old dam being the matriarch. So he has been shunned by society. <laughs> uh, I skip my next turn this card is played because it's like negative 15 Three times. Oh my god. god. And of course, the old dam has been surrounded by all these scandals that she's been murdering people left, right, and center. This was in the figure. So, of course, she was scared by all the scandals because eventually, you know, they're going to get to her. People are going to turn against her. Immediately discard your entire hand when this card is played. Which she has nothing of. Okay, well, well played. Since you're done, you can't draw and you're skipping your next turn. Yes. Yes. Good lord! That's hot. For Act 1, uh, the Slogar residents recently found that their old grave digger, Elias E. Gore, had come back into town. It had been years since they saw him, and sadly he had grown quite old and without grace. He's curing like milk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like the little comment here Death becomes you, hurry it up. I know, Elias, you buried so many people, hurry up! Uh, but then, uh, now, uh, upon his arrival, as everyone was making fun of poor old Elias, who had not aged gracefully at all, at all, Elias revealed that he had come to them not to dig more graves, but to deliver a message. 
that the child, Melissa Slogot, had was jinxed by gypsies. <laughs> So he was coming to them from gypsies. Uh, so, yes, he had come to them from gypsies, which kind of explains why he looks so old and haggard. Mm -hmm. uh, but that being said, the gypsies had indeed jinxed Melissa, and to find out why they jinxed him... So, okay, so Mern went in Maya. Let's see if you can give me as grandiose as us. Okay, start with this. Uh, but we can, can we kill other people's? They have to have negative values, okay. unless the an event card says otherwise. So the other day, Cousin Mordecai was, um... <laughs> He was eating chicken. He was eating, like, delicious chicken. He was the like, chicken of the sea? Because he's holding a fish. <laughs> yes. yes. It was tilapia. He, was, he yes. was eating away his miseries. Uh, however, uh, you see, it, it, was, it, it, it turned out that he choked on a bone, and it became his last supper. Okay. Yeah. And that is how he died. Tilapia bone? Seriously? <laughs> So flip the character beneath this card to see yeah, we'll side with the, an additional just, negative yeah. 10 okay. with the... Just that, and there. there. And now you've died! <laughs> oh my God. Yes, but at least you had a Last Supper. <laughs> I can't wait to see a card that gives you a pack. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, second. That'll probably raise yeah, you into my family, family the Frankensteins. So Samson O'Toole... The bearded man? Was... <laughs> See, he was uh, crippled by dead <laughs> creditors. Seriously, what because yeah. his act wasn't Because paying. his act wasn't good enough. Everyone thought he wasn't deformed enough. <laughs> yeah, and he was <laughs> delayed by a death. Uh, delaying his deaths became quite deadly. So he has a minus 20. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is there an effect No. Uh, the player to your right may randomly select and keep two cards from your hand immediately when played. So okay, from takes, your hand? So you can... What? What? Yeah. Read that again. Yeah. You Basically, could. Basically, I take, I take two of your cards. Yeah, you could if you'd like. Sabam. Aw. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to discard that because it's handy. No, 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 no. One, two. It's my turn, right? And then, and then, said, oh, no, wait, we, we, we have we, two acts, so we so, already killed so him. So we're not allowed to do the... No, kill him and, uh... Okay, our next And he's, he's, he has death. Yeah, you just laid on top oh, over. Oh, so sad. Yeah, you just laid right in the What okay. guy? So... Oh, wait, actually, he's changing. We're Slogar family, you know? <laughs> They're really unfortunate. They've got a Frankenstein-type wife. And, you know, the Royal Academy in Britain, uh, doesn't like them. And... It's really twisted, really unfortunate. Oh, playing God's a bad thing. Yeah, so they were actually cursed by the Queen. <laughs> what? No! Oh, you immediately discard your entire hand when this card is played. Aww! <laughs> I got some nice stuff. He, he yeah, but you got some negative he's... modifiers, so it all works out. The Queen is no, it doesn't! I had some. Oh. You want to get negative modifiers. Right? I know, but I could have positive you and then killed you off. All I needed was an instant death. So back to Goody Zar. <laughs> My dog is so happy. Interesting story about her. So she was being chased by children the last time we left off. How do you feel like that? Oh, right, yeah, so she, she was being chased by the twins. Yeah, she was being chased by the twins. Uh, they chased her right off the dock into the ocean. Oh. And. In that ocean was a family of manatees. <laughs> so she was mauled by manatees. <laughs> can manatees even maul you? Yeah, they can. They also okay. they also eat. Uh, and that's my turn. This so that's fantastic. my turn. Sam can't do anything. Uh, He's every, uh, this is our day of rest. So and you can't do anything. <laughs> well, no, I draw till four. Yes, draw till four. <laughs> and Maya and Merlin, go ahead. So I draw to five on my next turn. Let's yes. someone a 15. Okay. So, uh, Lord, Lord Slogar was discovered alive by, uh, by, uh, what do you call it? The, by these, uh, very distant relatives. See, and suddenly... The Adams family? Yeah, the, <laughs> uh, the Adams is, is <laughs> this family. When, uh, Fester suddenly, uh, Fester suddenly died, you see, uh, Lord Slogar landed this legacy. He was he was so amazed because and so were the creditors because they were shocked that he could actually he was genuinely alive in that jar. You may immediately draw or discard two cards when this card is played. I'm gonna take my options. I'm going to curse all people. Blessed by the bishop. <laughs> That's just evil. I know. <laughs> So, uh, my so the other day, the illustrated lady was trying to hide her, hide her vape, in, uh, put on more scarves than usual to the point that she couldn't actually see where she was going, and then she fell down a well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so that's your turn. So I'm gonna like, well. All's well that ends in a well. <laughs> All's okay. well that ends in a well. Um, you may immediately play an untimely death on it as re a reflex. If you have an untimely death. We have a lot of untimely deaths. Yeah, but death. we don't want to because it's only negative 10, right? Can't show you yeah, yeah. You, can, you can save it. We can play it on other people, right? No, no, no it has to be on other characters. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, we're done. Okay. okay. Have you okay. your men done? I got one. <laughs> Anyone dead anywhere? Yeah, I, I yeah, feel we Because of Mordecai. Because of Mordecai's it. dead. He's locked in at month negative 10. <laughs> he choked a bow. Choked on a bone. He was okay. depressed from that salesman. Oh, do we have to pick up another card? Yeah, until you have five. <laughs> that fish was so questionable. Okay, so. <laughs> Chicken of the sea. Back to my family. I haven't mentioned anything about Lord Vaughn uh, so death far. Card. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> Lord, whatever. Lord Smythe. Um. So he is the dumbfounded duke, yeah. and because he's a duke, obviously okay. he is kind of popular in Parliament. And so this allows me to draw two more cards. Um, okay. Inspiring. And because of his... You know you're showing them your hand, right? Come at me. I'll knife you. Yeah. That could be his card. And actually, because of his situation, because he was Paul... Uh, Popular in Parliament, he became kind of rich. Okay. Um, but you know that old saying, "Money is the root of all evil." Mm -hmm. An event card, which allows me to draw one card from each opponent's hand and immediately play those you wish and keep the rest. So show me your hands. Oh, all of us. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm showing him my hands. Oh, I know that he sees what. No, yeah, I, I, no, he doesn't see. He just picks uh, randomly, and then out of, oh, the ones that, uh, out of the ones that he picked up, he can either immediately play them or discard them, I think? Yeah. No, keep them. Keep oh, okay. Them. It's just, um, like, all positive for him. So, no, no, he gave himself a positive modifier to just draw to. Draw to. Um, so, you've got a teddy bear, Grogar. I love him. Yes. He and Melissa actually are kind of close, even though he's just kind of a... Mm -hmm. Interesting person in a person in a bear's. Well, Professor oh Slogan was determined time. to create a perfect group yeah. for a dog. But because they were close and they were good friends, uh, Melissa mm -hmm. and Grogar actually went out for a picnic in the park. You monster. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> picnic with the teddy bear. And you that's my second both act. my negatives. Are you, are you positives now. <laughs> no, 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 it, it goes over. It, it stacks directly. Oh, it's So terrible. I lost all of my... You monster. Yes. That is interesting. That's a really that actually, like makes it really complicated and hard. Yeah. I like that though. Also, um oh, man. because of his status as a duke, oh, he man. is giving your dead character a chance to begin again, which discards all the modifiers. Uh, oh no wait. Uh, uh William Stark. Oh gives a chance to begin again. So, first off, an event card. It's not being Miraculously, beyond all reason, and any sort of possibility, grounded in anything approaching reality. It was all the bishop's fault. We found that the bishop's blessing had given the young cousin a second chance. Oh. Oh. You live! No. Does he live with everything, or does he... He lives with everything that he has. Just take away the death card. Oh, okay. You just say, uh, take away and discard the death card. You're alive! Cool, let's kill him again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I'm just gonna keep killing him. <laughs> I think it was because Balthazar got too like near to him. like the worst luck ever. <laughs> uh, and the best, uh, the best part about it? Uh, hold on a second. He makes friends. Alright, so, first fact. Uh, n with the miraculous return fr by the bishop's blessing, the good cousins Whole outlook on life changed. <laughs> he managed to find true love and was wondrously wed. <laughs> oh. But a plus 20. <laughs> Choke on that. Hey, that only means he's at 10. Uh, when you, you may immediately draw or discard two cards when this card is played. Is that me or you? That's you. you. Draw or discard, your choice. You're so happy. <laughs> So, you're so happy. Oh. You can draw or one. You can I, draw two. I can draw. I'll just draw two. You're going to lead the most fulfilling life. <laughs> we <laughs> shall see. You have no idea what I just drew. You have no idea. Okay, next act. However, the love that the good cousin found 
and was wonderfully, wondrously wed through. Let's call her Milo Kunis. Uh, he was not how he he, he was wed, but was Are not paying attention. Me? No, he wasn't paying attention to the attentions of Melissa Slogan. And as such, she uh, she fell into a great morbidity and despair, and oh, ran geez. herself into a graveyard to make her cheer herself up a little bit because she just had that kind of look. You you really broke her heart. Uh, and so, but what what, while at it's the what, graveyard, it's what inbred cousins do. <laughs> while in the graveyard, <laughs> you're related to Mila Kunis. <laughs> 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 Uh, what? No, he's an imprint cousin. Oh, no. <laughs> the least of his worries, I like that. Uh, yeah, because Mil 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 Mila Kunis might actually be a sister. Anyways, while at the graveyard, she was greeted by ghosts. So the other day, Ilyas Igor was uh, was hanging out with his friends and decided, oh, I'm gonna go take a walk. But then you see, he never returned. Oh, yes, no! Go and flip the character card. Go, go underneath and flip the character card. <laughs> oh, so we only have death cards. What does that mean? Uh, it means you can just... Murder people? You can, well, if you don't have anything to play anymore, you can discard a card and draw two or just draw one. Okay, let's just draw that. Death cards have to be at the beginning, right? Yes. Okay. Uh so, back to my family. You've got the twins. Okay, mysterious. Poor Mike and Michelle. Um, so they chased their nanny out. Uh, basically got her mauled by manatees. So... You know, they were out waiting for her to get back from her swim, and, you know, it started raining. In fact, it was so bad a rain that it started to storm, that it became a storm. And they didn't have anything to eat. They were basically starved in a storm. Oh. Oh, yeah. I see you what just you did there. No, no, no. He, he put a He's major negative, though. Uh, He's just hungry. He's uh, oh. two, uh, two separate negative tens. So it's harder yeah. to cover up. And, you know, uh, Lord Smythe, he was popular in Parliament, thought he had the life, but when he heard about his children and his nanny, who he hired a while back, he realized there was nothing he could do because the Parliament was two cities over. And when the butler called saying that the, he couldn't find the children or the nanny, Lord Smythe basically fired the butler, and the butler, being the drunkard that he is, got so depressed that he drank himself silly, and he was ruined by rum. <laughs> so, that's my turn. So All it's right. my turn. Yes. <laughs> Sam can play at last after yes. three turns I'm of doing so... nothing. Let's <coughs> Come then. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to kill the ten. Oh, Alessandra uh, okay. Devine. It's alright, never she's in a well. She's in a well? <laughs> yeah. Well, unfortunately, that well was not filled with water. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> that well was filled with gasoline. Oh. You found my well? <laughs> and in that gasoline, uh, what's another character? The bearded man yeah. was trying to... Smoke? Smoke, thank you. <laughs> was trying to smoke a blunt. <laughs> to try and... Dull no longer pain. be depressed and dull yeah. his pain. Samson and he also. threw the match in the well, which ignited, and she was badly burned. Oh, and killed. And killed. So, killed. Yeah, you flip, over, flip it over at the bottom. Let's see if there's any events on this one. Okay, no. Uh, no. Just worth an additional negative time. Fire warms the heart. No, the other not even that. It's just dead. RIP, beard. Uh, this was the Alessandra. I like the tattoos. illustrated ladies. She's just like me. She doesn't even have tattoos because it's all cool. <laughs> they're just hypothetical tattoos. Maybe they're made of henna. In a twist of fate. Maybe they're imaginary. Oh, yeah. A twist of fate. A twist of fate. Replace a top modifier on a character with one from your hand. In a twist of fate, 
Balthazar is no longer blessed. <laughs> what? Oh, we can cancel your thing. Do you want to cancel it? Yeah. Yeah, we what? cancel it. We want your dog to be blessed. What? Yeah. <laughs> can they do that? Yes. Yeah. It's the cancel card. <laughs> you will be holy yes. till the day you I die know. and ascend to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, choke on it. Well, then we unfortunately so for fine. my second act, this is horrible. Paul William Stock, because he has to go to all the underhanded seedy underbellies of the town they're in was plagued by the pox for having to handle all the pox ridden deadbeats that he has to take money from. That's your second act? That's my second act. Draw until you have five. So, you guys may need to pay attention. Okay. Okay. So, oh, no. I'm going to start with the bearded man. Yes. Being so depressed about his life, thought he was cursed by the devil. Yes, by the devil. Until one day, he was by a pond. And then he saw, and delighted by, <laughs> ducklings. What the oh, hell? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. And all of a sudden, he knew that the devil was not by his side no longer. He no longer owes money <laughs> because of ducklings. ducklings! He no longer is cursed! Like gold or something, I don't know. The ducklings were made of gold. I looked on. <laughs> Poor Balthazar was at your circus. Because everybody loves their circus. And he was by the animal day. cages. And unfortunately he was insulted and taunted <laughs> by tigers. Oh. I wanted to kill him. <laughs> oh, I can't kill him. You're good. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm sorry. Right, that's okay, that's that. Okay. okay. Professor <laughs> Helena, yeah. while being oh, cursed by the queen, while being cursed by the queen, found herself horrifically trapped within a sealy mattress factory. <laughs> the plushiness all around caused her to fly into a panic. Running through the pillow room, she caused an avalanche and suffocated as she ran out of air. Seeing that his wife had died, the Lord Slogar took it upon himself to mend the ways. He may have landed a leg legacy, but by God it had to be tarnished. He was a, he was a Slogar for God's sakes. We are not people of legacy, we are people of infamy. And so, defying all physical, uh, defying all sorts of any type of physical possibility, he stole from a stiff. So you pretty have zero on. I am okay. fairly certain that is physically impossible, but he stole from a stiff. What's a stole from a stiff mean? A dead body. Oh, he stole from a dead body. The jar, uh, the bring in a jar, <laughs> robbed a corpse. Do <laughs> you know what? It's what? fine. He probably has telekinesis or something. Alright, so I still got one event showing that... Uh, Alright, that doesn't set anything off, and I still got the one showing that reduces my draw, so I'm just to two draws. Okay. Gotcha. The other Your day, time. Balthazar met this, uh, met this very uh, beautiful dog, and he was like, wow, this is, this is one <laughs> what lovely What are you talking thing. about? Yeah. Oh, at the circus, you mean. At the, oh, at the circus. Okay. Yes. And it was, it, the circus a dog was like... He was taunted by the tigers. The circus dog was like people. bouncing balls off of its nose and everything. With its afro and, and then that. And then it turns out... Not that dumb and then he chased, he chased after this, this, this beautiful dog <laughs> all the way to a bog. Now this dog just hopped across. Are you trying to kill my dog? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think they can't tell the story anymore. <laughs> okay, so anyways, you try to jump over the the dog. The circus dog jumped over the bog. Okay. Your dog tried to follow her, but unfortunately, he didn't make it. He drowned. Okay. In the bog? Oh, Balthazar! <laughs> Sweet, blessed by a priest, Balthazar. At least he goes to heaven almost. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh. it's still our turn, Act Two. So, while he was looking at the ducks, 
<laughs> one of them bit him. Oh. And bit um, uh, Sam bit Samson the bearded man. <laughs> and uh, he actually it, I had been bitten by it a duck. actually got infected, and it infected so much to the point where he, he lost got his limb by gangrene. And then he had all this gangrene, and he died. Not died. No, he just not lost his limb. Oh no, it didn't run. He lost his beard. He lost the finger. That could be able to get chin beard. He lost the finger. Okay. And it was all infected by gangrene. So now he's okay. a sad, sad. Twins, you know, they were uh, got this. horrible to their nanny. Uh, they went to confession at church to kind of confess for that, <clears throat> but they didn't get a chance because the priest, the priest had already found out, and he chast chastised them. So they were chastised by the church. Nice. And now I am going to play a Shakespeare interlude. Shakespearean interlude to be or not to be, who lives, who dies. So basically this allows me to move one untimely death card from a dead character to a living character with negative self-worth. Okay, so... Uh, There's three untimelies. Uh, he's at negative 30. He's at blank. She's at negative 25. Negative 20. Okay, actually, I'm going to say that um, be, um, her asphyxiation was actually only temporary and led only to a coma, so she didn't actually die. However, the twins, because of their chastisation by the church, uh, God smote them with another type of asphyxiation, which caused them to run out of air. You're lame at this. Yeah, but he, his He's at a negative 30 yeah. on dead pot. No, I 35. No, I meant his description. I'm uh, like, you could have just said they choked each other and died. No, no, together. God choked them. They were choked by the hand of God. <laughs> I hope it's the God from Monty Python's question. Oh, it totally is. There. It totally is. It totally is. Oh, wow. He's just got like, God in his hand and opens up the yeah, cloud. Yes, it's your turn. Okay, I don't draw. My twins are dead. Your twins are dead. <laughs> That's unless we bust them back to life. So in my first act, we're gonna visit the old dam again. The poor old dam. People just don't like her. Oh. She keeps backstabbing people. <laughs> over and over, and frankly, the people of her town have just had enough. <laughs> They've decided that Maybe it's time they backstab her. But they're not gonna kill her, oh no. She's not good enough to be killed off. They decide to just beat her and break her bones. Oh. Uh, I thought break her, her brittle old bones. Oh. I was gonna just say, they probably would have broken from her walking. Um, it's like, hey, hey. Oh, my bones. I never said they had to do a lot, but they <laughs> broke her bones. There's a Professor Xavier but, uh, reference in there somewhere, but I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> and next we shall visit Dear Angel. All she wishes is to kill somebody. Oh. Someone. You can't kill unless it's first draw. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. She wants to I'm kill. doing my description here. Okay. Yeah, right. All she wishes. Yes. <laughs> All she wishes. Okay. All she wishes is to kill someone. She decides maybe someone at a dance is too hard. Maybe a simple beggar. She tries to entice a beggar, to flaunt, to flirt. Unfortunately, the beggar already knows what she has planned, rounds up her friends, and they beat her. <laughs> what is it with you and beating women? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the cards that I'm, life dealt me. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna take on, on a, we're gonna see you on an episode of Cops in like seven years, aren't we? <laughs> If America's most wanted was still on, I'm sure it'd be on that instead. Canada's most wanted. Canadian. Hey, Canada's most wanted. That was the hand I was dealt. <laughs> you can draw up until you have your draw limit. Uh, I think it's four because of this thing. Yeah. So I'm doing. Uh, uh, that's too, too many. many. Uh, that's still too many. <laughs> that's still too many. <laughs> what? You're so fit. I know. I like how they're see through. Yes, it's so, so good. I love this game so much. <laughs> With the miraculous return. Of the good professor, <laughs> Helena Slogar. While she once again began making Lord Slogar's life an unliving hell, <laughs> she was followed in her resurrection by another slew of good graces. Oh my gosh. That's right, I hate you. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
So, oh, you're only at negative 20 and negative 15. Let's change that. We found that the good... Wait, what is his name? Butterfield. 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 The good Sir Butterfield. Uh, uh, Sir Butterfield. Butterfield. Mr. Butterfield. The, good, the Mr. good butler Butterfield. Found Alfred true Butterfield. Found true love. On a lake? No, <laughs> with the bishop. With the bishop? That had cursed the twins to death. And had blessed the good dog, who was also now deceased. That bishop went to hell. That bishop! And he won married magnificently in Thank Quebec. Oh. Ah. I believe so. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. I hope Somewhere so. Somewhere in Canada. We're doing this in... here. Oh. Awesome. I'm doing in Ontario. Uh, hey, so, behold. Uh, I'm not sure if that thing does anything. Does it do anything? Uh, I get one more for my drug it. Congratulations. He's got it. Won't be needing it. We're gonna go to uh, as well. Seeing the resurrection of Professor Helena Sloga, and the happy marriage of the good bishop and the good butler. <laughs> we found that Darius Duck was once again sleeping without sorrows. Oh, <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay. That is the nicest I've had to be in this game, and it's left a vile taste in my mouth. <laughs> I have to go first, and then you can pick what you want So, I uh, draw the two, and off we go. Okay, so, um, what's his name? Samson was so upset that he lost his limb, whatever limb it was, his finger, his finger <laughs> his that he finger. died of despair. My God, so he yeah. never stroke his beard the same way again. He can't. Yes, yeah, so he he that counts for negative fifteen as well. So this character's at negative thirty right now. Wow. Okay, he died. He died. I know a person can only take so much heartache. <laughs> uh, is there be, an additional effect? Oh, yeah, we have to discard our entire hand. Yeah, so do that now. Oh. So that'll be your turn. Wait, wait, do, do you use the wrong one? No, it's right. Yeah, we'll oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. It's all okay. Okay, you can choose the next turn. You have to discard it. She's like, no, give it back! Oh, wait, you, you just discard it so you can drop five more. Oh, and that, do we, can we play the no. five more? No, no, no. No, no, no that's the end of that's turn. That's the end of the turn. Oh, no. Well, okay, let's, let's see. Do you really see anyone you like? <sighs> okay, so Lola. Back to poor oh, Lola. She was trapped on a train, and some idiot, um, I don't know why, some idiot basically uh, wanted to get some fresh air pit into the train, so they opened the emergency hatch at the top, and it basically disturbed the wasp's nest. <gasps> yeah, so poor Lola, she was trapped on a train and wounded by wasps. Oh, poor Lola. Yes. Trains, wasps. So for your... For my second act, Quebec uh, marriages. <laughs> so this Quebec marriage, it turns out, because it was not exactly sanctioned by the church that the priest or the bishop was serving under, um, they both had to kind of run from the church and everyone, and that kind of drove the butler insane. So he met, went mildly mad. Only mildly. Yes, only mildly. <coughs> and the thing about this card is whenever I, while this card is showing, uh, discard one card every time I have or play a modifier. So, this card, and then end of my turn, I drop more. Okay. Hang on, I'm just going to shuffle these back in. Should we do it when the cards are done? Yeah, but whatever. Just popping them on top here so that I've okay. the top ones don't get them. Yeah? Is it my turn? Yes, it is her turn. <laughs> okay. The old Dan. She was scared by scandals. Yes. Beaten by the townsfolk till she had broken bones. And unfortunately, as she was nursing herself back to health, she can't move. But before that, she left food out. You never leave food out. You left food out. Left and unfortunately, out. attracted weasels. Weasels, you say? And the weasels, the food was not enough for her. It was not enough for them. So the weasels ate the old Dan. Oh my god. At a negative 45. Sweet. Sweet Jesus. But I am not done, unfortunately, for the Blackwater clan. Mordecai. Dear Mordecai. Even after he was wondrously wed, that he was not able to experience his dear honeymoon. Oh because he was burdened by boils. Oh. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Maybe I should have been after his honeymoon. He was burdened by boils. Damn it, Mila Kunis! Ew. Yes, quite, quite the yeah. thing. So that disrespectful. If she's watching this, she's going to kill me. I kill me. I'm the one who's suggesting it. Yeah, Anyways, your turn. Draw? Oh, yeah, that's right. Draw. Okay. Draw to four? Draw okay. to four, yeah. No, is it still showing? Oh, okay, it's still showing. Yeah. Alright. Wait, no, don't count towards the final Okay. That's that. That's fine. Because the other one is going What's your story? Catch us up. So, to catch you all up, we have good times happening. You're being nicer. What? This is unusual. Oh, no. It is unusual. I, 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 I feel a little I bit. I feel a little bit more spry. I feel a little bit more confident in myself as a person. Okay, who's dying without cares? Oh, uh, the one dying without cares is probably going to be. I really don't like you. Twenty-five. <laughs> You're only twenty. So, oh wait a minute. Yeah, he, has, he has a dead person at negative forty-five. Keep that in mind. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I just can't Which is why I'm going to kill a woman without cares, negating her score entirely. But he has a negative forty-five. Already dead. I oh, can't yeah. uh, modify it further. Yeah. She unfortunately. What was she doing when we left her last? Um, I completely forgot to mention. She was this. wounded by wasps. She was wounded wi by wasps on the train. On the train. But, though he went a bit mad, the bishop did not, and found himself on a train <laughs> with a trapped little girl stung by wasps. How did he do that? How did he manage that? Because he went a bit mad and he was kind of scared to stick around in the house with him. It's love, but you know, it has its limits. Uh, <laughs> he found himself on the train, seeing the girl dying Horribly of her wasp wounds. So he you uh, so he rolled up his uh, uh, he unfurled his paladin's character sheet, rolled eighteen on his lay on hands, but sadly had not memorized or kept with him any scrolls to remove the venom. So he so he healed her of her wasp wounds. Unfortunately, not the killing venom. So she died peacefully without cares. For the little part about her heart stopping. <laughs> <laughs>
Thumbelisa. I could call her Thumbelina because it sounds like Thumbelina, but it's Thumbelisa. Thumbelisa. Well, she decided to have some dinner. Yes. Oh my god. She decided to have some pudding. And unfortunately, she was a little perturbed by the pudding. What kind of pudding was it? What do you mean perturbed? Perturbed. Yeah. Disturbed. Yeah. I just turned what it kind of? Me. What kind of pudding was it? Oh, it was chocolates. Oh, we do so, more. Yeah. You dare. Oh, yeah, no. but I reduced the modifier from yeah. 40 to 30. Yeah. Oh, I had to do point. something. It's a good play. So, draw? Yep. I stopped. Ah. Wow, freaking William is... is yeah. Stopped? So, we go on. Ooh. She doesn't have time to take care of cleaning and all that stuff. Uh, and Sounds the like Tarja. Yeah. And Nightwish. Nightwish, yeah. yeah. And you know, the twins liked the show. They actually went to visit. Oh, uh, really? But because the place was such a mess, there were there was mice everywhere. Oh. And poor twins, they were menaced by mice. Um <laughs> Butterfield, you know. His mother was still alive before the events of this story happened to take place. Okay. And <laughs> turns out, sadly, that Dragon is down, man. It's <laughs> it's really bad because like her mother died um, as the twins went to go visit the circus, and he found out that he actually inherited nothing from his uh, mother because he had been written out of the will. After she was beaten by beggars, poor angel decided to eat her sorrows away that she could never kill anybody. Uh I don't know why I'm talking like that. Because but she choked on a bone. I find that highly offensive. <laughs> she choked on a bone. And died. And died from the chicken she was eating. Oh, okay. I like that card. First the chicken of the sea, now just a chicken. A yes. real chicken. And poor William Stock. Chickens come from Is still, place. people still remember all the terrible, terrible things that he does. And was still shunned by society. <laughs> <laughs> so the negative fifteen all over? Uh, yeah, any remember? additional effect? Uh, yeah, I skip my next turn. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Let's all kill Sam. Yeah, Behold. kill this character right now. Let's all make him and happy. Then I win. Let's everyone make Sam happy. All okay. right, let's do it. Let's do that okay. with three dead characters. Do that. All I have left is Stark, the one character who dies in the first season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> in this game. Are you sure he gets a chance to begin again? <laughs> Why this?
Joshua. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of time. Okay. Aww. Okay, let's do two All right, let's 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 count our scores. And then you Only the dead ones. Only the dead ones. Only the dead ones. I have negative 10, 25, 35, 45. 45 here. 15, 16. 20, We have 90. 25, we're gonna, 30, we're gonna play 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30